This video will show an example of finding whether or not a given vector is in the span of a collection of vectors. So suppose that we have this set of vectors. v1 is equal to 1, 3, 2. v2 is equal to negative 1, 2, negative 1. And v3 is equal to negative 1, 12, 1. And now suppose that we also have a vector b, which is equal to 1, 1, 1. And we're going to check if this vector is in the span of these three vectors. So the question we're asking is, is b in the span of the set of vectors v1, v2, and v3? So to, to find this, we can solve the equation ax equals b, where we want to see if we can form b out of a linear combination of the columns of a, which are going to be our vectors v1, v2, and v3. So to write this in matrix form, we have our vectors on the columns. And we're going to augment this with the vector b, 1, 1, 1. So we have our vectors on the columns and b over here. So once again, we're going to row reduce this, taking row 2 plus negative 3 times row 1, and row 3 plus negative 2 times row 1 to get this. And from here, we're going to get rid of this 1 below the 5 to get this into echelon form by taking row 3 plus negative 5 times row 2 to get this. And from here, we can see that we have an inconsistent equation because of this last row right here, which basically says that 0 x1 plus 0 x2 plus 0 x3 is equal to 9, which is impossible. And therefore, this equation is inconsistent. And that means that b is not in the span of the vectors v1, v2, and v3.